in front of the camera, wow, two videos quickly, it's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. No, it's not Christmas. It's nearly a St. Patrick's Day miracle. Anyway, this one is a bit different. Um, several people have done things like Loot Crate and Nerd Block and, and whatnot. And I've really enjoyed watching um, people like uh, Ben Chen Muso picking, uh, picking those up for the last year. Typically, it's the comedy between himself and his, his partner that actually make it. But I've always stayed clear of them because I've never been too sure of uh, the content. Is it really going to appeal to me? But recently, um, that's changed though. Because one of these type of boxes uh, have, have a, arrived. This one here is called My Retro Game Box. And as the name implies... It's a subscription service um, where you get retro video games. And the way it works, you sign up either monthly, three monthly, six monthly, or yearly, different prices depending, uh, roughly between 20 and 23 pounds per month, depending on your, your range. You, you, you don't have to be tied to a contract if you don't want to. Um, you send it, the people behind it, it's, two, it's a small kind of company, if you will, two people, I think it's Casey and Stuart are running it and essentially you send them a list of your games and to try and give them an idea of what it is you have you send them a list of systems you collect for and stuff you're kind of interested in so that they can try and tailor it to your needs now I've a relatively sizable collection and I spoke to them about that and they, they were up front and said not entirely sure that I would be the best fit for this type of service but I thought it's curious, I want, I want to try it. So essentially, I don't know what's in this box and I happen to open it other than one slit. So let's see. Lots of packaging. And the first thing is a 15% off your next order and there's a voucher, or there's a code behind. So uh, if, you want to, if I want to buy a console off them, there's a discount, which is nice. So all packaging peanutty things and let's see. The first item is, seems like a Nintendo 64 cartridge to me. Ah, interesting. It is Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Don't have it, obviously, because I got it from my list. I did say that I was a big fan of things like the N64, so, and it's in really nice condition. It has been cleaned as they, I think they said that they basically don't send out anything that isn't clean. It is a game I remember reading back in N64 magazine back in the day looked interesting and I never knew was it was it interesting because the N64 was going through a bit of a barren period and you're kind of waiting for a perfect dark and whatnot or was it actually a good title I've always been curious about the series and this is actually going to be a good game so I'm looking forward to trying it out good so dig down through this one looks a bit a bit bigger now this is boxed. Oh, very nice. Ah, classic. It is a boxed copy of Street Fighter 2 on the SNES. Which, amazingly, I have a very poor SNES collection. It's actually boxed and complete. So there we go, there's a manual and whatnot, and cartridge. All in nice condition. Uh, yeah, can you believe it? I don't have Street Fighter. I think the only version of Street Fighter I have is, well, then I, say, I don't have it, then I have two versions. Now, I have two versions of Street Fighter, I think, on a Saturn. Street Fighter the movie, of all things, and a kind of an anniversary collection. Uh, but I don't have the SNES version, or any of the SNES versions, because let's face it, there's plenty of Street Fighter games. To get a uh, box, I'm really, really happy with that. I, I wasn't expecting to get a box SNES game, that's for sure. So, there's one more item. They generally say there'll be between three and five, and I can see that there's one more left in this. And, judging by the feel of it, it's like Christmas. What's going to be in it? What's going to be in it? I'm guessing NES. So, I did say I was kind of interested in Nintendo. And, let's face it, there'd be no point, um, no point giving me Sega Master System stuff. I <laughs> pretty much said, no. Nah. I, have, I have a lot of Sega stuff, so... It's a, well, another classic, actually. Another fighting game. It's Double Dragon. I did say I liked action games. So, 
Double Dragon's a classic. The NES version is really unusual because it's um you have to earn your moves and whatnot. It's got a bit of a not an RPG but I don't know an evolving uh, fighting mechanic, and it, yeah, of course it's one player. So I'm really curious to know how this compares to the Master System version, because of course that was a big one back in the day, comparing Master System to SNES. Uh, but again, I have to say this is in spotless condition, so to be f like, there's the label is pretty much perfect, it's completely clean. I, I definitely, <laughs> it is definitely nice to get games that are completely spotless and can go straight into your collection. I would actually put the Street Fighter into one of my box protectors, but I'm actually out of box protectors, so I'll have, I have to, now this is reminding me to order one up. So I'm really pleased with that. That's actually a pretty good selection for that type of box. You always take a risk um, when you when you don't know what's what's going to be there, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So there we go. That's my um, retro game box. I'm going to put a link in the description below, which is probably where it's going to be, to, to the website. Um, but as I said, it's it's basically kind of an, an opt-out subscription-y service where you get three to five retro games tailored somewhat to your collection. So you can get PAL or NTSC, you can get uh, Sega, Nintendo, they do take requests for other things as well. And it's very much a, a personalised box is what they're trying to go for and I think they've done a reasonably good job. I, I was expecting to be a pretty hard person to pick for because of, um, you know, I have a lot of games already so picking out of that is, is, is difficult. Uh, they did say that it was much easier for people who were kind of starting to get into retro gaming. And I can see that, like, if you wanted to get... I guess it just been a really nice gift for someone, especially that are kind of getting into retro gaming and stuff and don't necessarily have a massive collection. There's definitely, definitely a market for it. And um, personally, I would feel that that is better than something like the Nerd Block or uh, Loot Crate in that... A lot of the time with those, they, they look like cool items, but in reality they're not. You get, oh, there's Ashley. She must be telling me, you're rambling now, and she's my uh, director. You know, hey, you've already shown, you've shown the good stuff, you've given them the information, it's time to cut to the chase. So, I'm probably going to try another month or so and just see how it goes. Um, I was just interested to try it out and share it with you guys on YouTube. Yes, actually, I I'll sign off with that. <laughs>